Joining us now is Matthew Rosell, who first found the photos of the train near Magdeburg. He is a history teacher and a Holocaust researcher. Uh, great to have you on the show, Matthew. You first found the story of this rescue and then some photos when you interviewed a veteran in the year 2001, and he almost forgot to tell you about it. Yes, I, I started a World War II oral history project back when our World War II veterans were still with us. And the students really reacted positively to it. One of my students had a grandfather who was uh, in the war. He was a tank commander who landed in Normandy. He fought for 10 months across uh, Europe, battled the bulge, crossed into Germany. And by April 1945, he said that they were just going 18 hours a day they were trying to get to central Germany. It was still undecided whether it was going to be Berlin, the target city, but this particular U.S. 9th Army, the 30th Infantry Division, the 743rd Tank Battalion, were tasked with taking the city of Magdeburg on the Elbe River. When they got near the site, this is literally the morning they heard that their commander-in-chief, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, had died. They got that message passed down the column, and then... Two tanks were pulled out of the tank column, about 20 tanks, and they were ordered with their major in a Jeep to go and investigate a train that was curiously stopped in a little valley near the Elbe River. Couldn't go any further. The locomotive had already left. It was disattached. Apparently, the German guards had left, and it was just filled with 2,500 starving, emaciated uh, people who needed help. They were in distress. So... As I concluded the interview, he forgot to tell me about this incident. He was so, I don't know if you want to call it traumatized by recounting all the battles that he had fought through. This was a part of the war that just slipped his mind for an instant. So his daughter chimed up just before he turned the camera off and said, Dad, did you tell Mr. Roselle about that train? Yeah. I said no, and he started to tell me. You know, the photo and later the video you found is so searing. Uh, we know that the Nazis were trying to kill as many Jews as they possibly could. Um, and this tank had, and these, these crews and that vet that you interviewed had no idea when they stumbled upon them what they were going to find. At that point, we didn't fully know the full horrors of what Hitler had been doing. Oh, that's exactly true. These GIs were totally stunned. They saw this sea of humanity that was crying for help. They were overjoyed, but they were so exhausted. And these guys had to battle the fight. They had to go on and, you know, take the city of Magdeburg. And many of these soldiers were killed the next few days, but they stopped. And that's the important thing to remember. They stopped and they took care of these people. They got them to safety. They had recently taken a German military base that had hospitals and barracks. And they got these people to where they could uh, wow. start to recuperate. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.